हेलो एवरीबडी हाउ आर यू आई एम मोहम्मद साकिब मास्टर आइल ट्रेनर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस बुक थर्टीन टेस्ट फोर सो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ओके लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर स्पीकिंग टेस्ट आई विल आंसर द क्वेश्चन फ्राम पार्ट फोर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आर देर मैनी एनिमल्स और बर्ड्स वेयर यू लिव आर देर मैनी एनिमल्स और बर्ड्स वेयर यू लिव सो आई हैव टू टॉक अबाउट माई सराउंडिंग एरिया एंड टेल दैट वेदर देर आर सो मैनी बर्ड्स और एनिमल्स देयर where i live so talking about my uh, neighborhood i would like to say that there are some animals like there are some domesticated dogs or some cats like people that have uh, kept them as pet animals but talking about birds yes definitely there are so many birds especially in front of my house i have spared a patch of land as a lawn so whenever in the morning time there are so many birds like there are uh, cuckoo and sometimes pigeons doves sparrows crows and some other birds are also there they visit uh, around the plants and uh, they chant and they utter different type of uh, beautiful uh, voices that really make the environment so beautiful and ensnaring how often do you watch programs or read articles about wild animals so question is how often i do watch programs or read articles about wild animals so while well, talking about the programs that i watch uh, regarding animals yes definitely i watch many programs and i love nat geo and uh, zoo planet and other tv channels that present documentaries uh, regarding animals and one interesting thing is that i love to know about different type of characteristics and traits that nature has Uh, it transfixed or nature has put into the animals like if we see that man has learned the the functionality or man has learned the mechanism of uh, you may say radar from bats and similarly we have also learned uh, from dolphins many things like sonar and elephants have also uh, infrared uh, system so these things really make us are stuck or surprised and we become spellbound that how uh, interesting things have nature actually uh, blessed or transfixed into the animals so these are really interesting and uh, we also come to know about different traits of animals like how they sometimes use even you can take the example of chimpanzees who are called the first dentist or first doctors of uh, teeth why because they are able to uh, cure certain ailments related to teeth so i think animals are really very interesting and man has learned a lot from the animals the next question is have you ever been to a zoo or a wildlife park have you ever been to a zoo or a wildlife park yes definitely since my childhood i have visited zoo many times but i would like to relate a special uh, visit that actually we have made last time whenever we were uh, in university it happened that we got a chance to visit uh, zoo Uh, regarding a research program and we have to uh, actually prepare a report and a documentary uh, in order to collect the data regarding different species of uh, different animals and birds that were actually conserved in the uh, zoo in our area so we visited uh, lahore zoo and we noted down all the uh, information regarding different type of species of animals and birds and it was really quite interesting because on different cages the information regarding different animals have been actually fixed and you come to know about different things and their habitat about their uh, food about their other mating styles and their mating season and things like that so you are really uh, get familiar with the animal planet would you like to have a job working with animals would you like to have a job working with animals uh, actually uh, sincerely or honestly speaking i have no long term plans to work with animals but if i am uh, assigned a task that i have to prepare some documentary or i have to collect some data or research data regarding some animal so definitely i would love that work the reason is that i am particularly interested in the wild cats and uh, big cats family like tigers jaguars because it's a increasing trend in our society nowadays that people are trying to domesticate uh, big cats and like lions and tigers so i want to know how these Uh, predators and how these carnivorous animals how they become intimated with the man and how they become a close ally and friend of human so i love to know about this the next chapter is part 2 and we have to talk about uh, cue card cue card is describe a website you use that helps you a lot in your work or studies so i have to talk about a website that i usually use in order to take help or seek help regarding my work or studies and the hints are what the website is how often you use the website 
and what information the website gives you. So I would like to talk about a website that I mostly uh, consult or visit whenever I have to seek some information regarding my studies and that website is Britannica and I want to prepare some assignment or want to uh, add some notes in my lecture because I teach CS students. So in order to uh, deliver lectures regarding political science and uh, English essay and current affairs, so definitely one need a plethora of knowledge, a bundle of knowledge. So we have to consult different sources. So Britannica is I think most authentic uh, website that I usually consult. And uh, I try to relate things uh, from the biographies of different uh, personalities, famous personalities or the historical periods that uh, the historical events that actually have been the phase of past and we have to use them as a reference anecdotal references and uh, biographical references and other things that I usually need I used to uh, consult that website and more interesting thing is that uh, sometimes it happens that we have to uh, add some uh, actually maxims or proverbs or uh, research or scientific data regarding that in order to make our hypothesis more strong or more evident as a proven fact so I again consult that website and I am able to know about many things and uh, it really helps to increase or boost the knowledge of the students as well and uh, it strengthens your background knowledge regarding a subject and you are able to elaborate the topic in a more uh, I think uh, specific and professional manner so I think this is the best website that one should always consult I would recommend the students as well that they should uh, try to consult this website so because it is very useful and helpful now we will move towards part three that are discussion topics the first one is the internet example questions why do some people find the internet addictive why do some people find the internet addictive uh, regarding internet i would like to say that it's really become addictive nowadays the reason is that every child every youngster and even the aged people can find the uh, material of their interest uh, through website or internet and reason is that it's become a best pastime because even if you want to know about some news and if you want to have glimpse of showbiz and if you want to know about more and uh, interesting movies or other things like that if you want to have songs and documentaries you can watch everything and it provides you everything under one roof so i think uh, actually it's uh, really a source of addiction for everyone and uh, you may take its example from the child there are different type of games that actually make the children enthralled and ensnared and entangled uh, so such type of uh, graphics they have and such type of fantasy like word they create that a man is mesmerized by the things that actually are there in the internet what would the world be like without internet so without internet i think world would be like a pale and pallid ghost i would like to say it would be just like a colorless sketch the reason is that internet had uh, enchained us and enlisted us socially, morally and uh, like uh, in every aspect of life I would like to say that and through internet you are connected with your friends whether they are overseas or whether they are uh, indigenous or foreign you can easily come across or come to know about the circumstances of your friends and family and other thing is that even internet has gained so much importance in our society that all the businesses all the things even the school uh, functions and school uh, programs are actually connected through internet so i think without internet it would be very difficult to run the smooth working of the offices as well so it is i think the need of the hour and it is part and parcel of our society and it helps and supports in all walks of life do you think that the way people use the internet may change in the future do you think that the way people use the internet may change in the future? The way people are using internet uh, may change in the future. Uh, basically, there are two type of assumptions regarding this. First one is regarding the mode of internet we are using. So definitely there will be as the internet has been shifted from wired to wireless mode. So definitely there are uh, chances and there are hypotheses or there are presumptions that in future, in near future, it is possible that people will be able to use internet through uh, satellites and uh, different other sources that will be really interesting and another thing is that uh, hopefully it will also help a lot in order to perform certain type of tasks that are usually performed manually nowadays and it's expected that in future in near future internet would be able to help a lot of things like if students seek help 
regarding their assignment preparation or other things like that they will be easily uh, gain help and assistance regarding within one click of hand and uh, i think internet will be able to help people in lot of other ways and more beneficially because of the smart technology and artificial intelligence is actually the mode of the future concept because it will help a lot in order to solve our lot of problems and it is uh, expected that in near future we will have such machines and such robots who would be able to take decisions automatically and there will be no requirement of human intervention so i think internet will help a lot uh, in near future and we will be able to do many things that right now uh, become the part of impossibility or uh, unreal world